it appears now that the riots are taking a different dimension, an unwanted dimension. And Mr. President is very, very concerned about this development and does not want a situation in which everything breaks down and results in anarchy, in lawlessness, and people taking the law into their own hands. For one thing, if government can begin to make concessions, then it also is logical for the protesters, for those that are aggrieved also, to take a step back, take stock of their activities, and come to a meeting point with government and its agencies. It is not Mr. President's desire to see any unwanted loss of lives, and he is determined to ensure that things do not cascade into uh, an unpleasant situation. Therefore, he has directed all the security agencies to operate within the confines of le legitimacy, within the confines of legality, not to do anything that will aggravate this situation. The president himself, I've just left his office, is also going to deal with these issues in a separate manner apart from what has just uh, taken place in council. And I believe in the next couple of hours, Mr. President will um, come up with certain solutions that will be agreeable to the entire uh, federation. Again, I have spoken with my colleagues in security to also understand that these situations also require non-kinetic effort, which we are also working on to appease the people who are aggrieved. And there's no need to take this thing further, but it is extremely important for the youths to understand that if the atmosphere is not conducive for dialogue and for understanding, we can't have any peaceful resolution. The security agencies have been asked to apply as much restraint as possible. But then again, the youth should also understand that sometimes pushing their luck might also result in unwanted issues. So it is very, very important for everyone to take stock of what has already happened and not give a dark impression of this country to the international community.